They're alive, but not much more. A hole in the ground is now home for the Syrians who've been displaced by the war. What kind of life is this? Can this really be called living? To live in a cave? Um Faras's family took refuge here a year ago. Their house in the city of Hama was flattened by one of the government's military jets. Their few belongings make the damp and dim grotto somewhat tolerable. There are many caves scattered in the countryside of Idlib in northwestern Syria. At first, they were used as temporary bomb shelters, but now they've become permanent residents for some of the five million people displaced within Syria. We've been taking shelter in this cave for a year. I'm responsible for seven people, and I'm just a widow. You can see what it's like. Fighting insects and illnesses in the humid conditions are some of the challenges. But above all is the challenge of finding enough food to eat. And hold up in the darkness, these little ones read books from a school they can no longer attend. With the war pushing them underground, some Syrian refugees are left living in what seems like the prehistoric past. Rawi Al Jazeera.